It has been traveling coast to coast for over a century, bringing you and your family the most amazing animals and performers from across the globe. The greatest show on Earth! It's the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus Train. Everyone is familiar with The Greatest Show on Earth. But what people don't realize is that there's a whole nother world behind the world of the big top, and that's the world of the train. The Ringling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey Blue Unit Circus Train has been my home for over two decades. It is the traveling home of all the performers, acrobats, aerialists, animal trainers, clowns, daredevils, dancers, and musicians. It is also home to support staff that you don't see in the show, such as the cook in the pie car, our circus restaurant, the train master, and the porters who keep the train clean. Living aboard the train is like living in a small community, only it's an international community. They you have customs from each continent. I have to walk the train from one end to the other. The aromas of, this, of the cooking aboard the train, it's such a, a pleasurable thing to happen. Yeah, you get to realize that these people are cooking lots of different things on the train, but they're still living in that community environment. It's a great atmosphere to live in. I just love to travel, and when I left the show, you get the circus in you, and you just have to do it again. you got to travel. And people ask me all the time, you know, what is it like on the train? I said, it's just like being in the real world. Only difference is we're going state to state to state, meeting all these amazing people. And that's wonderful. I think the best part of living in a train is this is your house. This is your house, and your house travels with you. So you all, you never, you never far away from your house. There are actually two Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey circus units that travel by train. The blue unit and red unit circus trains crisscross the country, logging more than 25,000 miles as they bring the greatest show on earth to millions of families in more than 90 cities each year. With each train over a mile long, the train is like a town without a zip code, with everything from living quarters for humans and animals to places to relax and socialize. The Ringling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey Circus Trains are the largest privately owned trains in America. This show is so large that I can't even imagine how many trucks it would take to transport it. The other thing is that the train is much more than a conveyance. It is the home for virtually all of our performers. We, we're 57 cars long, and out of those 57 cars, we've got 17 equipment flats that are specifically built to carry our uh, circus wagons. We didn't have two concession cars. We have 34 coaches couple of shop cars, generator car that carries the power. Uh, you have a dining car, which we call the pie car. And, uh, that's 57 cars total. Ringling Brothers Barnum & Bailey creates our own train. Um, we don't make a brand new car from scratch, but we take existing rail cars, remodel them, we gut them out till there is nothing inside, and we make them to our own specification. The Paul Meadow Rail Car Recycling Facility is the support headquarters for all of our show and train operations. This is a very unique facility in that this is one of the few shops in the whole country that recycles as many railroad cars as we do on a regular basis. Currently, we are remodeling three coach cars. These are the living cars for the circus performers and personnel that travel with the circus. We are also building another elephant car, specifically designed to transport elephants from city to city. One of the main reasons that we have found in our past experience 
to have a facility like this of our own is that nobody in the country builds a train car to the standards that we expect. In an average year, the Palmetto facility will recycle three to four cars, uh, and that depends on the needs of the show. Sometimes they are animal cars, which in many ways take more work than the people cars. Most of our animals live in specially designed stock cars that are created and built for their special needs. The elephants have different needs than the horses do. The horses have different needs than the camels do. So each of their areas is designed for the animal. These cars are specially built and designed just for the elephants. Each car has drains underneath each and every elephant. Above them, they have ceiling fans and lights, their own misting system. Each elephant has a window that is open and closed to keep the heat in or let the cool air out. Each car carries its own set of heaters, its own water tank, and a room for the personnel that stay with the animals in these cars 24 hours a day while we are traveling. The animals are always directly behind the locomotive engines. That's where you have the least slack or play. So as the locomotives take off, they take off slowly. So they are insured of a very smooth ride. Our trains are very unique in the railroad industry. We move animals, people, and equipment all on a timely basis. We have a mile-long train that we have to park in each city we visit. So we meet with local rail officials to make sure that we have a place to unload the animal cars, a place to park the coaches, which is where our performers live, and a place where we can service the pie car. All of this without totally disrupting the railroad's operation. Communication on the train becomes a very important issue for us. Um, not all the cars are public cars. You can't walk all the way through the entire train. That's right now a little over a mile long when we're entirely put together. That's why we all have radios, cell phones, sometimes pigeons if we have to, anything we can to make sure we get the message out to everyone. The idea of the Ringling Brothers Barnum Valley Circus Train dates back to P.T. Barnum. When he started, he had a traveling zoo that would tour the entire country. And at that time, there were no zoos, and the only way the people could see these great animals were for Barnum to bring it to them. Today, we carry that tradition on by bringing unique and exotic attractions from all over the world to people on the train. Originally, the train cars were what was available at that time. In 1872, it was wooden-sided uh, stock cars. The performers traveled also by train and the equipment, but the equipment was much cruder than it is today. Nothing's more exciting than, than riding on the train. As you travel through towns to have clusters of people just standing out, cheering and waving and smiling and yelling what town you're in. Uh, as you roll across an intersection and you know the people, when they see those railroad crossing bars come down, they're thinking, oh no, not again. And then they see Ringling Brothers, Barnum and Bailey. And to see the look on their faces, they're so excited that they happen to be the one that got caught by the train. It's like taking a step into the past as a child in the backseat of your parents' car, going down the highway from your aunts or uncles on a holiday, and that thump, 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 thump puts you to sleep. Same thing with the train. The movement, the rhythm, incredible. <laughs> 